A Christian pastor in Iran still faces a death sentence. Good evening, I'm Wendy Griffith. And I'm Mark Martin. Pastor Youssef Nadarkhani is set to die. His crime, proclaiming faith in Jesus Christ. The case is gaining international media attention. Reports earlier today suggest the Iranian court agreed to overturn the pastor's death sentence. But CBN News has learned the pastor's attorney in Iran believes the reports are lies spread by the Iranian government, all in hopes of stopping media coverage. The attorney says he still hasn't received a formal verdict. Just moments ago, the White House condemned Iran for Nader Khani's conviction. It released the following statement. A decision to impose the death penalty would further demonstrate the Iranian authorities' utter disregard for religious freedom. The White House called for Iran to release Pastor Nader Khani. The American Center for Law and Justice is helping with the pastor's defense. And Jordan Sekula joins us now from Washington. Jordan, you are in contact with the pastor's attorney in Iran. What more do we know? Well, first, let me just uh, say thanks to CBN News. I think the reason why the White House issued that statement is because the media has been picking up this story and CBN News took the lead on it. It was the first television news in the, in the world to start covering this story about the execution and got the White House's attention, which is what we've been uh, waiting for. It's great to see that from Jay Carney. I hope to see something from Secretary of State Clinton and President Obama himself. Here's the latest. We spoke to the attorney uh, this morning, actually, and uh, he, you know, he's in Iran. This is, this is the pastor's actual attorney. And he said uh, all of those reports that we had uh, last night uh, was, was misinformation. What he could confirm at this time and as of today, of course, Pastor Youssef is still alive, that three of the five judges seem to be leaning towards overturning at least his death sentence, but there's no written order. He expects one's maybe sometime uh, next week. This is like the weekend in Iran, uh, today and tomorrow. Uh, we, we won't expect anything then. And of course, internal and external pressure could swing that vote one way or the other. Right now, the execution stands. It could happen tomorrow without us knowing about it. They don't have to issue the order first, but uh, it, it does seem like we have some hope and we need to keep uh, praying. We need to keep getting the story out there and uh, get more statements like we did just now from the White House, which is all because of the viewers out here in CBN and all the work we've all done to get this story around the world. Jordan, if the death penalty is lifted, does that mean he will go free or could he still face some other charges in prison time? You know, that, that's one of the most troubling issues here that we can't overlook that uh, the death penalty is, of course, our top concern right now, saving the pastor's life. But as one of his close friends pointed out on, uh, to me again today uh, through email, who's uh, from Iran, and a, lead, a church leader there said, listen, uh, they could overturn the death sentence and still give him life in prison in a horrendous uh, place, mm -hmm. torture. So this is not over just with the death sentence. This is about securing his release. That's what we're fighting for here. And we can't stop talking about it until we know he's out of prison and safe. That's also key nice. because in the past in Iran, Wendy, we've seen that uh, people are sometimes released for these charges and then killed you know a couple days later and no one's ever charged with their murder oh goodness well what all is being done behind the scenes to get the state department involved you know we have finally called today on secretary of state hillary clinton to issue a statement herself uh, when we saw that speaker boehner when he issued that statement it made international news uh, the white house statement today will make international news and what the attorney uh, for Pastor Youssef told us this morning via phone was that the more news, the better, because it keeps the focus on that courthouse. And the more uh, news, uh, the better chance that we'd have at keeping Pastor Youssef alive. So I hope Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, that's what we're calling for, issues a statement personally, and maybe even President Obama himself, not just the White House press secretary, because the more international news we can make, uh, yeah. the better chance we have at saving this pastor's life. And quickly, is there anything our viewers can do? You know, at ACLJ.org, we've got a petition up. We had not done that yet, Wendy, uh, asking people to call on Secretary of State Hillary Clinton. We just got the White House statement. I encourage people, sign that petition at ACLJ.org and keep sharing all of the news stories, whether it's Facebook or Twitter or through your email list, so that this story continues to get out there. All right, our prayers are with that, Pastor, and with you guys for what you're doing. Jordan Seculo with the American Center for Law and Justice, thanks for being with us. Thanks, Wendy.